Hello YouTube, we're back for the third episode of Let's Play Hat Trick. We are into Calvahel in the country of San Marino. Since last time, we've got a new kit. We've stayed in the theme of uh, Internationale with those colors. We haven't decided for a way kit yet. And maybe you could uh, come up with some suggestions for that because I don't know exactly what I want to do there. Despite the defeat in the weekend, we've gained two times 17 new fans, meaning we are already up to 674 members. Very, very nice. So last week we were cheated out of having uh, the choice of two scout reports when we had to do the youth pool. So let's have a look see. Today, this week, it'll be, it'll be better because we can call two scouts. Hopefully we will find someone who can go along with Enzo in gold. Um, so let's uh, let's call Pietro Risaliti. Oh, he's 16 years old. Riccardo Tierosi. And he would be able to reach a potential of passable scoring before you know it. Defending capabilities around poor? No, no, he's 16. We will say no to this guy. No, thank you. All right. Giorgio Bolini. 15 years old. This player has weak defending. If he develops well, I would say this chap can emerge with inadequate scoring. That's not a lot. I mean, he's mentioning two of the best skills, right? The best three skills. But he's 15. And we want to accept. Yeah, we sign him. Um, yeah, I think we'll just deploy him in defense and see how well it goes. Let's have a look at the youth game this week. We played Rail Dunduzini B, and we got it handed to us. But we want to have a look at our youth pool from the first week, Enzo Bacchiocchi. Five and a half stars. It's promising. And he's passable keeper at the moment. So we'll try to train him in some defense along with the other bloke that we just uh, promoted. Let's just uh, see. Yeah, we are training defending for the secondary training. So let's just make sure that we put him into the lineup. New Messi. And Stefano Picardi, that new guy. Yeah. Let's just place him there and send the orders. All right. Let's have a look at the midweek friendly. We played against Dinamo number one. And even though we lost zero goals to three, we did gain some useful things from uh, from this match. We had the new trainees uh, coming into the game, Makado and Otem, and they did relatively well, 2.5 stars each. But the most important thing was we gained some experience in 3-5-2, uh, the formation. So we now are excellent in that, and that means we will be able to play that formation against the the bot team Adriat Adriatica Calcio and we'll be playing in sunny weather um, looking quite nice we should expect to see well this is uh, the first minute ratings so I, I would say hat stats around 150 um, so it'll be nice to see how it goes on Sunday uh, we'll be attacking on wings in the game as well. Let's just resend the orders just to be thorough. As for the training update, we didn't really see anything super interesting this week uh, of training. We did gain some stamina. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, what there's to report about training this week. 
before we have a look at this week's league match, let's just see what's going on in the World Cup. The World Cup round two finished this Friday, and for round three, this is where it starts to look like the World Cup we know from um, the real world. So now we are at 32 teams playing each other once in groups of four, meaning three games on neutral ground. I must admit, at this point, I don't know who's the, the biggest favorites, but uh, from what I've read on the Danish forums, the, the, the group with Denmark, Kenya, Portugal and Philippines is, uh, is quite even. Strong teams with high team spirit, all of them. So that'll be interesting to see what, uh, what's going to happen there. Obviously, we'll check back on the World Cup, especially when uh, round three is over. Fast forward to Sunday evening. We've just finished the game against Adriatico Calcio. Let's have a look, see how that game went. We won four goals to nothing. A quiet match without any injuries. We missed quite a bit of chances, but it was a, a nice win and quite satisfying to win like this. Last week we lost uh, the third place in, in the league table but we actually won that back this week so that's just perfect we earned a we earned 100,000 euros today and that meant we were able to hire a new trainer let's have a look see we hired Benedict cute enough so he's a solid coach with poor leadership but that means we are fully ramped now in uh, and should be able to train quite efficiently in the coming weeks and seasons actually so that's all there is to it this week i'll see you next week i look forward to post more progress with my club in san marino for you guys have a great week